What is up, all you real people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be going over the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Edition for November 2020. Before we get to that, at the end of the video, guys, you know, on a few videos back, we had the giveaway for the Mondo Kit. Well, today, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure to watch the video all the way through so you know if you won this awesome Mondo Box or not. Okay, so getting into the Mystery Tackle Box, we're going to open it up and see what we have. Now, of course, always to start with, we have uh, what's inside the box and the Dibbles tips and tricks. So we're going to get into those a little bit later. But first, we're going to jump in and see what we see first. And of course, I think this comes with every Mystery Tackle box. I think it's just, you know, it's in every one. And it's the Harmony hooks. So, you know, at least they're making sure you never run out of hooks. So that is a good thing. And I actually use these a few times. And they're not half bad, you know. I prefer other brands of hooks. But, you know, if you're in a pinch and these are all you have, they're not half bad. So thank you for the Harmony hooks. And these are something that I really, really need because I go through swim baits so much. And that is the Big Bites Pro Swimmer. You get six, six in a pack on this. I'm guessing this is the pearl shad white color. It almost has like a uh, offset blue to it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, it has a little blue to it. So not too bad, not too bad. Six in a pack. Most of them I think come in five, so six. Get that little extra one in there for you. Oh, yes. Okay, so on the last Mystery Tackle box, they had this really, really cool... Uh, what was it like a chatterbait or something like that and this is from uh the jenko fishing brand again and this is an awesome awesome crankbait look at that now based on the bill i'm guessing this dive probably about six to eight feet maybe ten if you're pushing it look at that awesome color profile it's got little like splatter specks on it orange on the top it's orange chartreuse and then white belly that is really 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 nice now, I never heard of Jenko fishing baits until the last Mystery Tackle Box and it had that in it. And these things are really, 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 really cool. These are high quality baits. The eyes, I don't know if you can see, the eyes kind of look like they're cross-eyed. Come on, focus, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> but these are really, really cool baits. These Jenko baits are really cool. How much are these? Jenko. Okay, so the Jenko CD7, which is this, maybe it just dives seven feet, I don't know. But the CD7 is $9.99. So, yeah, I mean, a little, little, little bit up there compared to, you know, your Six Cents and your uh, KVD crankbaits. So, I mean, it's nice, though. It's like these are custom handmade. I like these. I like these. So, Jenko, if you're watching, I like what you make. Keep making them. Next in the box. Now, I have heard a few people talk about this box, and this is a really, really unique bait, and it's called the Headbanger. Look at that. Now I really want to open this guy up and show y'all what it looks like because it's an interesting bait. Like I've never seen anything like this before. It's like a mix between a chatterbait, crankbait, and like a swim bait. It's really, really interesting. Woo. Sharp treble hooks. Okay, so here it is. You got the plastic swim bait tail and you got like this chatterbait type head that just back and forth in the water and you got this big old treble hook hanging right there in the middle. Now. Based off of looks, this thing looks just absolutely awesome. It looks like it would tear the fish up. Nice small profile, really good uh, bluegill color pattern. You wanna see right there? Really nice color pattern, really nice finesse tail. Uh, it looks like it just, yeah, it just unscrews off. So if, if the tail ever gets bit off, I guess you can just take a swim bait, cut the tail, twist it on, and you're good to go. Cause I don't know if y'all can see a little screw mechanism in there, barely. But this tail is just screwed on there. So I guess that's really cool because the box doesn't come with any extra tails, so I guess it's really cool if you just have a swim bait. <laughs> I wonder if you could take this, uh, the tails off this and put them on here, that'd be pretty cool. But that is really nice, this is the Headbanger. Now who is this? It's called the Headbanger Shad and it doesn't say who it's made by, it just says patent pending. Uh, buoyancy sinking, weight 0.45 ounces, depth 2 to 8 feet. Okay, so this little guy will get down there, that's pretty cool. Comment. Combining crazy erratic and invasive movements with the irresistible replacement paddle tail. Okay, so it's replaceable. The Headbanger Shad is a uh, predator teaser with an action that no other lure can offer. I, I think you got that right because this is a very unique looking bait, guys. Very unique. Really cool head. I would really... Man, I just... I don't know. I really want to throw this out there in the water and just see what the action looks like and how deep this guy will go. And see if it actually gets any reaction bites. But this is a really, really nice bait. Just weird looking I've never seen anything like it so they might be onto something here with this who knows that is not bad not bad at all so that is the uh, really weird bait out of this box I've seen in other videos that I wanted to talk about so really really cool stuff 
The next one we have is the Cross Eye Power Finesse Jig by David Walker himself. And this is a 1 4,000. I don't know if y'all can see it, but the jig is actually a cross eyed. See? A little pink? Yeah. Cross eyed jig. Not bad. Nice little color profile, PB&J with a yellow head. So, interesting choice color for sure. One fourth, it's definitely finesse for sure. Z-Man finesse. How much is this guy? The Z-Man cross side power finesse jig is five bucks, four ninety nine. Not bad. Yeah, very interesting finesse jig. There's one thing I want to talk about though, guys. Hold on, let me pull this guy out without tearing up the box too bad. Now this is one thing I look for in a lot of uh, my jigs. I don't know if y'all do it, but this is just what I look for. And if y'all look right there, look how much room is between the hook and the head. Now that's really all the room you have for when that fish bites for that hook set to really happen. So right there, that's really all you got. And this this is a really nice finesse jig, don't get me wrong, Z-Man. I'm not saying anything bad about your baits, but what I like is a little bit longer hook and a little bit bigger gap right here between the hook and the head of the jig. That way you have a better hookup ratio, there's more room for that bass uh, mouth to bite down, and you get that better hook set. So if y'all agree with that, let me know in the comments, but if you don't, please leave in the comments as well, let me know why. But that's just my take on it. But what I really like is, uh, look, right there, it has the trailer grip right there, right there. Nice good trailer grip. So all in all, really nice jig, really nice. Now the next thing we got, and we've had these baits before in the Mystery Tag Box, is uh, Bruiser Bait. So this is the Crazy Crawl 4 Count, my favorite color, Okeechobee Crawl. And yes, look, this is what they look like. These are going to be really, really good trailer baits or even uh, punching baits. Really smooth, tube-like, really, really nice. Big old claws, the flap in the water. Look at that. Yeah. Come on, camera focus. There we go. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Good old Okeechobee Crawl, beautiful color. Love these baits. Yeah, these are definitely gonna be good for like punching grass or even putting trailers for other jigs or Texas rig or anything like that. So that is gonna be really, 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 really nice. So that is all we have in here. The prices, uh, the Headbanger Shad was the first one and that, that comes in at $14.99 for that bait. That is crazy. Like, I don't know, if I fish that bait and it guarantees to catch fish almost every other cast, then I'd say it'd be definitely worth the money. But if the, the action is laggy and it's not as good as it says it is, then $14.99 might be pushing it in my opinion. Then we have the Jinko CD7, which is the awesome crankbait. Where is it? Did I put it? Where, where'd it go? Ah, here it is. That was this guy right here. Awesome, awesome bait. And that is $9.99. I'd say that might be worth it because these are just really, really cool baits and they look amazing in water. Uh, the, set, the third thing was the Big bait, big Bite Baits Pro Swimmer. That was a $6.99. That was for these guys. So about a dollar and some change for each one, which is yeah, but to each his own. Uh, then we had the Z-Man cross Side Power Finish Jig. That was $4.99. We had the Bruiser Rates Crazy Crawl. These were, what? $2.20 for these? That is nice. How much did you get? One, two, three. Oh, you only got four. Okay, so $2.20 for four, that's still not bad. That's less than a dollar each. Really, really nice. And then, of course, we had our Always in the Box Harmony hooks, and those come in at $1.99. So, not bad, guys. Not bad for what's in the box. I'd say really good box this month. Really nice. Now, guys, for what y'all have all been waiting for, I know y'all sitting at the seat saying, Eric, who won the Mondo Kit giveaway? Just go ahead and tell us already. So, let me put the box down, and I'll get to that. Okay, now, I put all the names of the people that commented hashtag Dark Roll Action on the video, and I put them through a random name gener generator app. I don't know how good this app is, but it took me literally like 20 minutes to put everyone's name in. So, I'm going to go ahead and press the submit button, and it's going to pop up with the name of who won. App. There it is. Submit. Bam. Okay, so if you're watching this, Luke Cranes Outdoors, he commented, do one each month of the mystery tackle boxes, hashtag dark real action. So Luke Crane, if you're watching this, buddy, you won the giveaway. Please get at me on my Instagram at the real Eric Dark, R-E-L, Eric Dark on Instagram. Message me your address, buddy, and I'll make sure to send this awesome Mondo kit your way. And let me know how you like it, buddy. So that is all we have for today, guys. That is the November Mystery Tackle Box review. It's a really nice box, in my opinion. I really like it. I have a lot of really cool j things in here that I'm going to fish with, especially this crazy bait, the Headbanger Shad. 
$14.99. Man, this thing better have some really good action for $14.99, but definitely my favorite bait from the box, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel. Give me the big thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you get to see more awesome videos like this. You get to see them as soon as they come out, guys. I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all on the next fishing video. Peace. Oh, and by the way, guys, I just want to say thank y'all so, 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 so much. We finally hit over 800 subscribers, so thank you, thanks. Oh, I can't even talk right now. I'm just so excited. Thank you to all of y'all who have subscribed, who watch my videos, who comment, who uh, make sure to give me the like. Um, so just thank you so much, guys, from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot to me. And here, when we hit um, the next uh, 900 subscribers and 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a lot bigger giveaways. I'm not going to be doing box giveaways, even though I still might do those if y'all like them. But I think my next giveaway is actually going to be a new, like, Lose Reel or an Abu Garcia Reel or something like that. Something bigger and just let y'all know how much I appreciate y'all. So thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Y'all are awesome. And I will see y'all next time.